right here. Can you hear me? You can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. Myself. Yeah. I'm gonna... The screen went blank here for a second here. I don't know where it went. I can see Bill and Robert. Yeah, that new camera is wide angle, ain't it? Yeah. Do so you have a microphone or you just have to talk loud? No, we just have to know that the microphone's on the camera. Oh, okay. Looks like you're in school. Hey. This looks like you're in school. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. After class, there's only two of us, right? So somebody must have done that. Right at the front, right? We always were, eh, Bill? In front of the teacher. Yeah. 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 After after the bell rang, everybody else got home. Get to sit in the front row. <laughs> I'm glad. Well, it's going to be a it's going to be a pretty short meeting. Some fine weather we're having, eh? For now. <laughs> Need some snow. Yeah. <laughs> and some cold weather. I'd like some ice. Don't bother me. He sold my sled. I don't care. <laughs> oh, he sold it? This yeah. Well, in October. No. We had a power glitch. Hey. We had a power glitch. Yeah. Well, that's why it goes black. Yeah. We have an IT person here tonight, though. <laughs> And third, it must be Lindsay. Waiting on Lindsay, Tracy, Linda. I'm here now. Here now, Linda? Okay. Yeah. I've been here for five minutes. Where have you been? Trying to get power. No power down at Town Hall. <laughs> yeah, I've been just hanging out in the lobby. He was just on. Okay. I think he just took his camera off for a second. No, it said the host kicked you out. I'm out also. The host stopped you, it said. <laughs> Who's 
Who's hitting buttons over there? We're <laughs> just trying to figure out this the new camera system. Ken's gone too. There's Ken. Can you hear Ken? No, he's muted. You're muted. Unmute yourself, Ken. He's in his office. I can hear him. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nope. Lindsay's gone completely now. Are you there, Linda? Yeah. Tracy, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Lindsay? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear Ken? Can you hear Ken? No. No. I can hear him down the hallway. Okay. Ken is on mute. It says Ken's on. Yep. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, January 18th, 2021. Uh, I'm going to start the meeting at 6.35. I just want to welcome everybody back. It's uh, almost a month in in January, but it's the uh, first time since Christmas, so Happy New Year. Uh, hopefully it ends better than it starts. Um, do you want Lindsay to share the screen with the agenda on the screen? Are you guys, are you guys? I got mine on my phone. <laughs> okay. No, I'm good. I got. Okay. Okay. Um, so we want to open the regular meeting. Um, I just want to. Remind everybody of the declaration of pecuniary interest and general their nature thereof. And we'll do it like we did before on Zoom. We have the, the movers and I'll ask for a seconder. Um, and the first one is moved by Randy Rankin. Be it, be it resolved that the minutes from the regular council meeting held on December 21st, 2020 be adopted. Everybody's read the minutes. There's quite a few. Any concerns? If not, I'd ask for a seconder. I'll second it. Second by Marcel. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill, I'm off again. Okay, just one sec. Yeah. We can we can hear you, Linda. Okay, then that's as long as you can hear me. <laughs> I can hear you, so. Okay. Good. And then we'll move into letters for action. Um, moved by Jordan Bird. Be it resolved that the letter from Brent Rankin with regard to tax rates for the 2021 calendar year be referred to the Finance Committee for further consideration. I think everybody's read that. Um, he's brought up some good points, and well, uh, as we move on towards the budget, we have to we'll take all that in, and uh, we'll get back to council further. That's moved by Jordan, seconded by. I can. Linda. Yes. All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. And moving to number three, it's moved by Linda Stopes. Be resolved that a letter be provided to the Thesson Horticultural Society confirming council's approval for the development of the Sunset Drive lookout site. Everybody's got a chance to look at that. I need a seconder. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And number four, the Thessalon Library, moved by Randy Rankin. Be resolved that the request from the Thessalon Library for a wireless doorbell on the outside of the building be approved with the installation to be done under the supervision of the town superintendent. And I'd need a seconder for that. Can I have a seconder for that? Yeah, I second that. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Yes. And number five, moved by Linda Stopes. Be it resolved that council approve the Lighthouse Point plaque wording subject to two minor changes being made in the second and third lines in the second paragraph with the monies to cover the cost of the plaque to come from the Recreation Plus EDC Reserve. Um, I think that's a, that's a nice uh, plaque at the end of the road. Everybody approve? I need a seconder for, for that motion. Yep, I'll we'll second. Okay, thanks, thanks. All in favor? Aye. We'll move down to number six, the planning. Um, moved by Marcel. He resolved that the request for the reconsideration to sell the northerly 20 feet of the property described as 38 of Boma Street West and being part one of plan 1R2869 be denied and that a response be sent to the lawyer representing the party involved confirming that the easement agreement states that it is only between the town of Thesson and the property owners of 33 here on Wolfie Street West and confirming that this easement is from the east boundary to the river. I'd need a second or that. There was just, uh, they were wanting the option to buy that piece of property instead of the easement, but we agreed to an easement. So we're moving ahead with that. Uh, I need a seconder for that. I'll Randy? second it. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. And we're moving to number seven. It's moved by Lindsay Talon. Be resolved that the Cessna Arena closed for the season and the plant shut down following an announcement by the Premier of Ontario on January 12th, 2021 related to COVID-19 and that the arena canteen operator be notified of this decision. I'd like to discuss this, please. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not in favor of shutting it down right away. I think that our extra costs that we incur while we're closed can be covered by the COVID fund for municipalities. Um, I, I think that we should give it some time. I know that Blind River is not shutting down their ice. I don't know about uh, surrounding arenas, but you know we should maybe give it some consideration and see if this extends longer. If it does come off February 11th and we can reopen, that's a good two months we can get um, a bit of a season or a bit of a opportunity for the kids to get back on the ice. I just think it's it sends the wrong message. You know, it's the kids are already having a, a tough time, you know, being away from hockey and everything. And, and uh, it's depressing for them. And now they have nothing to look forward to if we shut down the rink. That's my two cents. Yeah, I, th I think I'm on the same page now too. I mean, it's uh, 14 days. We're less than a thousand dollars in cost. 
Yeah, and we've already hot. made we already made the decision for not to not lay off Bev, so she's there anyway. Um, so we don't need somebody to go in and specially check on the plant or anything like that. She's she can already do that. Yeah, I would like to uh, see a commitment from the minor hockey. I see uh, North Bay, North and North Nipissing shut their hockey programs down, right? Well, the reason they did that is because the rink shut down. <laughs> I know, I know that, but I mean, we haven't, the rink's been open since the 23rd of December. Um, I don't know, one can't do something without the other one, but uh, I don't know. What's anybody else? Like, I, I just, I, I, think we're grasp, I think we're grasping at straws. Like, I really do. I do know from uh, the minor hockey meeting, they they were uh, discussing um, seeing other, seeing options to talk with uh, the town about waiting till the February 11th, because then they will keep going with hockey. The, that COVID money we get, well, that, that would uh, cover the cost for the next till the 11th? Well, Jordan can answer that better than I can, but I know that there, the funding is there to allow for any costs co um, incurred by the town that they wouldn't normally have incurred if, uh, if it wasn't COVID. So if we are shut down, but we're maintaining the arena and that there's a cost to that, I would think that would be eligible, Jordan. I think it would be eligible, but I don't. I don't know if they've announced any funding for 2021 yet. I know that last round of funding was to the end of 2020. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you heard anything on that, Robert? I haven't, Jordan. Actually, no. Um, not about an extension, anyway. So we used all the money we had then from the 2021, or we can't use it ahead. Yeah, we used as much as we could out of the 2020. It covered a bunch of the lost revenue at the park. A bunch of other things as well. But. Probably the fitness also, the gym. Fitness, there was some fitness loss there, yeah. Um, so how do we do? Like, I don't think the the $80 or $90, it, it costs more than that to operate the arena every day. Like that's maybe just a hydro factor, but because um, if it costs us uh, 100, 120, 130,000 bucks a year, it's a lot more than $80 a day. So how do we address that on February 11th? If they extend, if they extend the uh, shutdown, Will this be conditional to shut it down that day? Not going to be much of a season left after that anyway, so. Okay. When's the last scheduled uh, minor hockey game? There's no schedule, I don't think, eh, Jordan, right now, because we were waiting. I think the CHL was waiting to see what was going to happen after the new yeah. year. I think everybody's in the same boat. No one really knew what was going to happen after the six or the. Lindsay, I can't see. I can't hear. I can't. And then those orders, yeah, those orders have been extended to the nineteenth already, right? No, the emergency order has been extended till the nineteenth, and that's different. That just allows them the ability to do the stay-at-home orders. I don't know, like maybe you can defer it to um, the next meeting or defer it to the HR committee to make that decision once February 11th comes along. Um, I don't know, but that that's just my thought on it. If we if you wanna bring it to a vote, I, I'm gonna vote against it. Well, we're we'll to bring it to a vote. So the second part of that is the canteen. Like I, I don't. I don't see reopening the canteen. No. And I'm sure Wanda would completely understand just due to the circumstances, but I would be in favor of waiting till the 11th 
to see what happens. And if we're still shut down, then close it. Okay, we need it. So do we know for sure under do we know for sure under the act that the stay at home order that we can't rent it to individual families, like a family of five, for example, if they wanted to pay $100 to skate for an hour? I, I don't think so. I, uh, by the way you read it, it sounds like those buildings are closed. So I'm, but. Yeah, I think it says sport know. facilities are closed. Yeah. Sport, yeah, they're closed. Yeah. yeah. So how? I don't know. I guess my concern would just be like, we wait till the eleventh, and are we only like, if it goes back, are we only playing until March for two weeks, or? Because historically, we don't keep our ice in very much later than the. Like the range. last week, the last weekend in March is typically when we have that last tournament, I think. Like, um, except there's no tur there's no tournaments. We're just uh, now we're just talking. We'll no, I, I realize that, but we have the ability to extend our ice time. We don't have to shut it down mid-March, right? Like if we had enough rentals and if the if the um, minor hockey extended their season, like a lot of the hockey, like we've already got notice in our leagues that our leagues are being extended, right? So if, if Cal extends their leagues... Uh, to kind of compensate for the fact that they've been off the ice for a month, then maybe that would be enough to be really key. Have we heard anything what Blind River's doing? Yeah, they're staying open. For sure. Well, I sent you that message yeah. there last. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I trust who that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear you, Ken. <laughs> can't read lips. Can Ken well, can Ken can, 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 can come in here and sit in the back, right? Cause, yeah, because he might as well because he can't hear what he's so how would we okay, so we can we rewrite this, Robert? Like a clarification on the canteen, as we're going to close it now. Is that what so I the mean? canteen, we're going to ask Wanda to keep it closed. That part of the resolution. Yep. Yeah. We'll wait till Ken speaks, and maybe we'll. And then we'll, we'll wait. Just wait for what Ken has to say when he comes in. It's Ken coming in. Line River's gonna, they're keeping it open there, uh, Coach Carl said. They're gonna write it out. I'm just to ask uh, Henry, he said he's going, they're going to look at it their, at their meeting on Monday night. Pee Wee Arena's having a meeting tonight, whether they keep their uh, ice in or not. Yeah. Well, I guess we could play it by ear, and if everybody in the next week or so shuts down, well, then we could shut down. Like, just everybody's we... waiting on the other guy to. <laughs> everybody's waiting on the other guy to pull the pin first. And... Yeah. So. Well, if well, it's up to you. We can we can vote on it, and then. But how do we move ahead? If if like we just to me, we're just throwing good money after bad. If we wait for two weeks to shut it down, so if um, if Pee Wee decides to shut down, or if Blind River decides to shut down, are we just going to follow in their steps, or what are we doing? 
I would say that if Blind River shuts down for minor, for, uh, if they shut down, our minor hockey would be done. We just play Blind River and North Channel, and North Channel is in Echo Bay. They haven't uh, come here yet to play, but we go up there. So if, if it opened up on the 11th, we do, the rink would only probably be used two weekends, right? I'm just... Well, I mean, if, if you go to Blind River one weekend, yeah, you come here the next weekend, and if you go to North Channel, so... So I guess... I guess Okay, so we'll we'll, so this, how do you, what, we'll just have what, to vote on it and get it over with. Yeah, and then if we'll have if we hear about the arena start shut down, we'll hold a, we'll have to call a special council meeting and. Yeah, that's the only way we can manage it. I think we just manage it situational. If the goes the vote and we vote to stay it open, we yeah. just keep an eye on what everybody in the area is doing and uh, move forward from there. So we move. That was moved by Lindsay. So we need a seconder and then we'll vote on it. Could could we just give it a week and then see what the, the other ones are doing and then have a special meeting or something just to decide then? Yeah, we can do that. We can, we can defer or we just want to defer until... If that's fine, if we can defer it until uh, we call a special meeting. Yeah. So, but point. part of the part of, part of this is about the canteen. So, I mean, if we're not going to open that canteen up, we should let Wanda know that. Yeah, I think we should be. I'd say okay. close the canteen. She's pretty much yeah. taking all her uh, stuff out of there anyway. She still has a few things that are that are not perishable, but. Okay. Let's do. Well, let's defer it until uh, Friday. We'll hear what we hear on Friday, and then um, if we have to call a special council meeting, we can do that. Is everybody in agreement to it? Fine with that. Okay. And we'll get clarification on the COVID-19 expenses too. We'll confirm if there's anything to carry into 2021. Can we reach out to Blind River and Echo Bay too? I think Blind River meets tonight. Just see what they're saying. Yeah. Like from, from the from the town. Yeah, are they gonna keep their rinks open or what are they doing? Yeah, we'll 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 get verification from the town. Okay. I spoke with North Channel, they're keeping theirs running, but they just gotta run the AC anyways, right? So they're uh, they're definitely riding it out as I was there on Friday talking to those guys. Mm -hmm. In my last discussion with Lynn Duguay, Echo Bay was leaving theirs open as well. Okay. Uh, this is number eight. Uh, moved by Jordan. Be resolved that no idling signs be posted in front of the municipal buildings. I need a seconder for that. I'll second. Does that include not parking on the sidewalk in front of the library? Yeah, I, I actually <laughs> took the guy off there there last week off the sidewalk. I've also asked them to get off the sidewalk now too. Same guys? <laughs> Same guy. Yeah. They're parking on the sidewalk? Well, right close. Yeah, yeah get better reception if you park close to the building. Jeez. But he's new to town, so um, moving on. 8A, it's moved by Linda. Be resolved that the rules of procedure be suspended with regard to the inclusion of the minutes from the November 23rd, 2020 Municipal Economic Development Committee meeting in accordance with the procedural bylaw. This item be noted only and tabled at the February 16th, 2021 council meeting. That's because those minutes just come in this afternoon to Robert. So, and there's nothing pressing on there that can't wait until February. So I need a seconder for that. I'll second it. Randy, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Uh, and staff reports, and we have Mr. Siebert with us. Bear with me as you read off my phone. I can't see it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, so in discussion with our consultant uh, with regards to phase two development, uh, there it's going to be necessary to relocate the gas line that currently runs through the rock cut. Um, so to do that, he's, it's, he's uh, suggesting we move it to the south side, I call it, or the lake side, I guess, at least, uh, and put it up on top of the rock cut. And to do that, we'll have to have uh, acquire a piece of property that uh, is adjacent to it there. So I think the map's attached here. We're showing whereabouts we would need to acquire a sliver of land to, to do the work. Um, you know, Telic was out there again today with a different engineer on site, and he came up with a different plan, maybe to move the gas line um, to the other side of the road. So I guess we better still move forward with acquiring this piece of property because that, to me, that seems like the logical place to put the thing. Uh, the Legion Grant, so the fire department up here. Uh, applied for a grant uh, from the Legion that uh, they've been successful in for the last couple of years. And the reason they were looking for the, the grant money was to purchase a Cutter's Edge multi-cut fire rescue saw, uh, which has already been ordered. Um, they followed the procurement policy and got the three the other quotes that were required as per the, the amount that they were spending. Lake Shy, Lakeside Drive cost sharing agreement uh, I still haven't gotten it back. The consultant has been chasing him as well. He had sent it before Christmas, but he had made a few edits to it. And we decided we don't want handmade edits on an agreement like that. So we sent it back to him and asked him to, uh, the edits were made and sent back to him for signature. And we just haven't got it back yet. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Loader tires have been installed. The services agreement with the town has with the aqua operator water treatment plant distribution system and water treatment plant and collection system is due to expire October 31st, 2021, which is this year. The water committee has decided to extend the contract for with aqua for one additional year. A letter requesting a price to extend this contract has been sent uh, to them. Plan will be as per contract language to engage aqua in discussions early in the spring to determine whether we move forward with tendering the work after the expiry in October, 2022. And the asphalt testing came back with the same results that uh, the initial test results showed. The consultant's dealing with the contractor to determine he's, he's talking about sending in the referee samples to be tested. And uh, the consultant's opinion is he's going to tell him, no, that's uh, it's unacceptable. And I believe we have the authority to do that. So we'll have to see where, where this goes. Tim Hortons development, the Timmy's now scheduled open sometime in March. Delays by some of their vendors have resulted in later than anticipated opening. They have completed the connection to both our water and sewer systems, although the water is not turned on yet. And the bell tower is being assembled and it's going to be host, hoisted into place this week. They're waiting for a crane, I would expect. We'll probably see that tomorrow. They've, they've got all the pieces put together there. So uh, they left early today. So I'm assuming they were just waiting for the crane to come in and so they can erect the thing. Things are moving along. I see there's people at Tim Hortons today, too. So, does anybody have any questions for Ken concerning? So, they're okay, Ken, at Tim Horton, the Tim Hortons, because they started before January 12th, I guess. They, yeah, that has to be it, Trees, because I was surprised to see them out there as well, because they are working inside. But I think probably that could be part of the gas, like. Because that's essential. So, and they can't open the gas station unless Tim Hortons is done. So I would be surprised. That's probably why. 
just looking under the radar there. So, um, thanks, Ken. Um, moving ahead, uh, Jordan, number nine, moved by Jordan. Be resolved that the accounts payable to January 18th, 2021, in the total amount of $175,000. $172.69. Uh, 2020, the part of that was 115 59309 2021 was 59579.60. Be approved for payment, noting that for any member of council who has declared a pecuniary interest with regard to any account, their approval is based on this account being excluded from the total accounts payable. Um, I would need a seconder for that. Okay. Thank you. Pretty Excuse light me. one. Before we go any further, just back to that piece of property with the gas main. Are we? Do we know if we can? We're going to be able to acquire this piece of property? Well, we're going to put. We know who the owner is, so we're the consultant's going to approach him to see if there's any interest in uh, selling us a short, a small piece of that land. And if he says no, then we'll have to come up with plan B, I guess, as far as relocating that gas line. I think Telex have a plan B in place yeah. now, too, can they look at so. Yeah, like I say, today they were out there and they looked on the uh, the north side of the rock cut as well, I guess. So it'd be a little more extensive in how much gas line they would have to move, but um, it might make sense to do that as well, so. Go up over the rock on one property, then. Pardon? Yeah. Yeah. Go up one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I, I had to ask. Well, no, that's a good question. Um. So number ten, moved by Jordan. Be resolved that after reviewing a further request to extend fitness room memberships and recognizing the uncertainty of the reopening of the fitness room at this moment, these memberships be prorated and reimbursed. Uh, I would need a seconder for that. I'll second it. Marceau. All in favor? Aye. And moved by Jordan, be resolved that the mayor and clerk treasurer be authorized to sign on behalf of the municipality the Canada Summer Jobs Application for seven students for 2021, three at the marina and four in Public Works Park, subject to concurrence with the union. <coughs> Seems early, but spring is coming. I would need a seconder for that. No, I'll second it. Andy, thank you. All in favor? Aye. And moved by Jordan again. Be it resolved that the mayor and clerk treasurer be authorized to sign on behalf of the municipality the Sioux College Summer Jobs for Youth application for students, with the students be placed in various departments within the town. I would need a seconder for that. I'll second it. Marcel, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Uh, this is moved by Jordan. Be resolved that the advertisement for summer student jobs be placed in the March 3rd, 2021 edition of the North Shore Sentinel with the closing date to be April 6, 2021, as well as the corporate Facebook the job bank and the website in order that the hiring committee can conduct interviews and provide a recommendation at the April 19th, 2021 regular council meeting. So I need a seconder for that. I'll second that. Yep. Is it? Marcel? Okay. Thanks, Marcel. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Uh, And this is moved by Jordan. Be resolved that if the town of Thessalon is offered the opportunity to operate a stewardship youth ranger team sponsored by the Ministry of Natural Resources, an advertisement be placed immediately 
for a team lead to ensure that a suitable team lead can be found. And if the hiring committee concurs that a suitable team lead has not been found as a result of the interview process, then a recommendation will be presented to council that town not accept the offer to become a host partner in 2021 year. So we've been lucky that we've had a team, found a good team lead for the years that we had it. So. Um, I would second that. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. This is moved by Jordan. Be resolved that council authorized the monthly payroll remittance payments be completed through the online process. We need a seconder for that. I'll second it. We're moving, we're moving into the world of no paper. Jordan's got us going in that direction. All in favor? This one's moved by Randy. Be resolved that the decision consultant for the Lakeside Drive Phase Two construction project approach, the owner of the property described as Section 6 SPT with regard to the sale of the portion of the property to enable the relocation of the gas main. So we know who's that property, and uh, let's see. Uh, we need a seconder for that. Yep. That was Lindsay, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All in favor? Aye. We've been buying pieces of property. Maybe somebody will make a donation to us. You never know. <laughs> uh, this one's moved by Marcel. Uh, be resolved that the council approve the purchase of the Cutter's Edge multi cut fire rescue saw. With this expenditure to be covered by the Legion Charitable Foundation grant of $4,000 and be included in the 2021 budget. We need a seconder for that. I can second it. Thank you. All in favor? Um, uh, this one's moved by Randy. Be resolved that council acknowledge receipt of the committee and staff reports. We need a seconder. I'll second it. So, thank you. All in favor? Aye. And we go down to general business. Uh, be resolved, this move by Jordan, be resolved the bylaw number 2406 being a bylaw to provide for an interim tax levy and to provide for the payment of taxes and to provide for penalty and interest of 1.25% per month be passed in open council this 18th day of January 2021. I need a seconder for that. I'll second it. Randy, thank you. All in favor? And this is moved by Jordan. Be resolved that bylaw number 2407, being a bylaw authorizing borrowing and pledging of security, be passed in open council this 18th day of January 2021. That'd be a seconder for that. I can. All in favor? Aye. This one's moved by Jordan. Um, be resolved that bylaw number 2408 being a bylaw to authorize the purchase and the signing of the agreement of purchase and sale and related documents for the property described as part Northwest quarter of section six and register plan 1R10962 part one in the town of Thessalon be passed an open council this 18th day of January, 2021. 
And that's for the piece of property that we made an offer on last month. Um, so I need a seconder for that. I'll second it. Thanks, Marcel. All in favor? Aye. I guess that's getting us down to the. This is a lot quicker meeting when you guys are in the council chambers. Uh, this is moved by Randy be resolved that bylaw number 2409, being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the meeting of council held on January 18th, 2021, be passed in open council this 18th day of January 2021. And a seconder for that. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. And moved by Randy that this meeting be adjourned at 7.14 p.m. We need a seconder for that. I'll second it. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.